All righty. <laughs> we got episode 30 this week. It's a market update. We're going to look at the October numbers. Yes, we or, are. As I like to call them, September. September, Mounder. Because nothing's changed from September. <laughs> uh, get into it about well, family. Get really personal in this episode. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Real heartfelt. Yeah, we might be brothers. I think so. It's coming. <laughs> Not legally, but just listen to the story. It's quite interesting. Uh, we talk about the condo collapse, the gym that fell in the condo. Yeah. Uh, get into a little bit about rats and bed bugs because it seems to be the content that people are here for. <laughs> and then we look at the very boring month of October and let you know what you need to know. That's right. Cool. All right. Enjoy the show. Enjoy. Welcome to the Toronto Livings Podcast, a conversation about all things Toronto with a focus on real estate, the culture, and of course, the food. I'm Mark Savell. And I'm Joey Virgilio. And we're realtors with Sage Real Estate working together as a Toronto Livings team with a focus on helping you buy better, sell higher, and of course, having a little bit of fun along the way. Hello, Joey. Hello, Mar. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm feeling tired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of with you a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. It's been a busy week. Yeah, it has been. Yeah. Yeah. Had some ups and downs this week. Yeah? Yeah, family stuff. Uh, okay. Okay. Primarily your family. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <what> it? <laughs> it's all ups, actually, with your family. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> so let's start the show off with a bang. Yeah. We have a follower that we've been trying to get for weeks now. <sighs> ah, I can't believe it. Yeah. I can't believe it, and I'm also so disappointed we get we didn't get this uh, this check <laughs> this day, weekly check up. Well, we didn't like draw this out for like seven episodes. Yeah, 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 yeah. no, this had potential, but we're talking about Francis V here. Francis V. Francis V. Sister of Joey and now friend of the show yeah. and friend of me as well. <laughs> um, we've been in the DMs, man. Yeah, she's telling me dirt on you. Oh sh- no, she's not. <laughs> no, no, she's really good. Um, <laughs> Uh, but I think the highlight of my week in relation to your family <laughs> was uh, your dad wrote a very beautiful, heartfelt testimonial. <laughs> maybe thank yeah, you. Maybe? Yeah, it was like a mixture of it was a bunch a mixture. of yeah. yeah, yeah. But it was uh, yeah. He definitely went uh, went all out. With he it. went all out on an Instagram post. Yeah, <laughs> not on the preferred Google um, testimonial page. <laughs> <laughs> not on the uh, private email. <laughs> He wanted the world to know <laughs> that you did a wonderful job. Uh, uh, yeah. You sold the family home in Savoy, uh, in Mississauga on in Miss- Savoy. Yeah. yeah. And that deal is officially closed. It is. Yeah. Uh, we had a bit of a moving closing date on that one. Yeah, we did. Last second. That was like hurdle after hurdle, that one. Uh, every piece of the puzzle was a little bit, uh, a little bit j- jingly. Yeah. I'll call it jingly. That's, jingly. A, that's a word I'm going to yeah, use. Jingly. It's Christmas <laughs> coming. So yeah, Halloween's it's over. Jingly so time. Jingly is, is very apropos. Um, but you sold that. He wrote a, a wonderful, beautiful thing about that. Um, and something else you're doing, well, a couple of weeks you've been doing and it's been really good, is you're putting together these little kind of real estate one-on-one videos in addition to yeah. the podcast. Like, I, I got you working. Yeah. <laughs> you're working it. And I, no, it's going great. Um, so if you go to our YouTube channel every week, kind of, we've been pretty consistent with yeah. that. Yep. You're dropping a new video. You did some good ones, the difference between a hard loft and a soft loft. Uh, does it make more sense to own a water tank or rent it? And we have a new one coming out this week about the heating systems. That's right. Yeah. So what I did was I'm like, well, this is really good content. I'm going to put it out in kind of a semi quasi newsletter and just a quick blurb and get it out to people. And, you know, the response was great. This is such a good educational video. Um, well done. Kudos to you in all levels. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate it. Until my dad opened up his email. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know what it was about the conversation of water tanks and rentals, but he unsubscribed. <laughs> he unsubscribed from our mailing list. <laughs> and we were like the least aggressive salespeople, I think, in the history of real estate. We're just like, read it if you want. <laughs> this guy unsubscribed. <laughs> it broke my heart. Jimmy the Rock God, man. That's such a good move. <laughs> he just straight up unsubscribed. So I took a screenshot and I sent it to you. I'm like, yo, my dad unsubscribed from our newsletter. And I wrote, can Domvi, your dad, adopt me? <laughs> However, I was so frazzled, I accidentally sent the message to him. <laughs> And he's like, what the hell? I thought you loved me. I'm like, yeah, I thought you loved me. What are you doing unsubscribing from my newsletter, man? (laughs) Then he goes, I understand. You want to be adopted by that New York realtor. And I'm like, what? (laughs) He thought your dad was Tony B. (laughs) He thought Tony B. The story keeps getting better. (laughs) I didn't want to tell you. I wanted to save it for the podcast. He thinks Tony B is your dad. He doesn't realize that B and V are two different letters, I think. (laughs) And he's mad that because he unsubscribed from mine, that I want to be adopted by someone else. (laughs) 
every piece of that just got <laughs> escalated. <laughs> and in the end, he said, well, fine. If it helps you, resubscribe me. <laughs> I'm like, you know who this helps? My therapist. Because <laughs> I have to tell them why I'm hurt that my dad unsubscribed from my MailChimp newsletter. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god brings up but um yeah that's been uh that's kind of been my uh, <laughs> how's your week been this, Joey? Is, this is easily the greatest intro to a, a podcast i think on the planet right now <laughs> and let's maybe in, in, in quickly interrupt and say we're not talking about family for this whole episode no, no, <laughs> getting into the october an, numbers but, session this episode. <laughs> but let's start with the hard stuff yeah yeah <laughs> Um, I gained a sister in Francis S. Yep. I lost a father in James S. No, Francis, no, Francis v. v. Yeah, James S. is kind of my dad still. <laughs> Tony B. and Dom V. are apparently both your parents, <laughs> both your fathers, according to my dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Uh, I guess I shut up my mom. She also DM'd me. But it flows so low under the radar with all this other drama that's been bubbling <laughs> between <laughs> family dynamics. She writes, podcasting looks fun. I'm like... Do you want to start on your own? Because I'm not doing that. <laughs> I have enough struggles helping you find the right converter for the Rogers box. <laughs> I'm not starting you on a podcast. Maybe you'll be a guest in future episodes, but that's where it ends. Oh my God. So that's what I got. <laughs> what do you got? Beautiful. So much family <laughs> stuff happening. Oh my God. Uh, this week, I don't know. I'm talking my birthday this week. Is it? Yeah. What day? November 6th. Okay, I got time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got two days. <laughs> November six. Yeah, Monday we're doing we're doing a, a family dinner, so I'll be with all the V's. <laughs> Am I invited? <laughs> You're invited. Can I go? Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. What are you guys doing? Is it like just a house? Yeah, we're just house? doing. Uh, they're they're settled up in the in uh, the spot in Bolton, so we're gonna go do a, a dinner. Nice. Um, and uh, every single year, I get the same meal. Okay. It's a request from Palma Pasta. Have you ever oh. heard of Palma Pasta? Surprisingly, yes. Are they in Mississauga? Yeah. Yeah, and they do massive trays of lasagna? Yeah. My mother-in-law. Oh, get out of here. Proud supporter of Palma's. Palma Pasta? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. pretty good. Yeah, it's uh, so every uh, chicken parm. Chicken oh, parm every year. No. Okay. Sandwiches, all the fixings, man. What's all the Onions, fixings? Yeah. Mushrooms. Provolone? Uh, I don't do... I don't. Well, the cheese that's melted on the... Yes. Uh, oh, in the, yeah. in the in chicken the parm. Yeah. Ah, right. Yeah. Fair. Uh, then rapini. Okay. Yeah. I like how you sprinkle a little bit of health on that. And then I'm going to throw you for a loop Ooh. for the next little bit. Tomatoes, okay, and mayo. Oh, you're one of those. Yeah, I did it. Oh, you're one of those. Oh, wait, sorry. Not with the not with the chicken parm. So there's chicken. So there's two things that happen. There's chicken parm with the sauce. Okay, and then there's chicken like breaded chicken. And you put mayonnaise on that on the breaded chicken. Wow. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um. <laughs> and in other news, <laughs> what what inspired the mayonnaise? Uh. Just a thing. It's just friggin' good. Yeah. yeah. Low key, you're not wrong, <laughs> but it looks weird. It looks so wrong, yeah. When yeah. you when you actually put it on, it feels like you should like blasphemy. But when you're eating it, oh my god, yeah, yeah, it's next level. Hits the spot. Yeah, <laughs> okay, I respect that. Can I ask how old you're turning? Yeah, you can. Oh, you can answer. <laughs> yeah. Can I guess? <laughs> you can guess. Thirty-two. Yeah. Are you thirty? Wait, hold on. <laughs> Real term. It takes me a second here. <laughs> Ninety-one. I was born. Okay. So yeah, 32. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to trust you on this. I'm not going to fact check you. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to let you run wild because it's your birthday month. Yeah. Well, happy early birthday. Thank you. Appreciate it. Anything I can get you? More friendship? More friendship. Okay. I got a lot of that. I'll take it. All right. <laughs> um, you put an address here. Is that where I should be coming? This is Palma Pasta's address. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Palma, I was going to shout out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Shout out Palma Pasta. 3485 uh, Seminic Court in Mississauga. Seminic. Yeah. I was cautious. I'm like, is he giving me the address and I'm supposed to read it on here? <laughs> you're, like, you're supposed <laughs> to do this. <laughs> do you want me to invite the listeners to your 30 second birthday party? Everybody's coming, man. <laughs> well, James S. won't be there. I can promise you that. <laughs> and also, low key, I was at a stag last night and someone was like, how's Joey Vendetta? <laughs> is that a reference to my dad? I think my dad's calling you Joey Vendetta. Uh, I feel like I've heard the vendetta. Joey V. Yeah. Yeah. Someone said it last night. I was like, wait a minute. What episode are you referring to? <laughs> I wasn't quite sure. This is an early one, if anything. I must have been. An yeah. Er yeah. Early listener. Yeah. Wow. Cool. Uh, you going out tonight, it looks like. No, I went out last night. Sorry. I wrote that just before. I, I literally wrote that and I was like, got to go. <laughs> okay. Where'd you go? It's absolute comedy. I went to absolute nice. comedy. Nice. Yeah. Uh, Young and Egg? Young and Egg. You liked it? Uh, it is. It's so good. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like a solid spot. Um, and I, I brought it up because I, I got the quesadillas from it. <laughs> We're talking about food. <laughs> okay. The quesadillas at the spot are like insane. Okay. The amount of cheese that they put in these things are like, you know, the, the pole, the cheese yep. pole factor. Yeah, yeah. 
10, 10, 10x. A t- 10x pull factor yeah. on that. I yeah. like. Uh, so Check if you out. ever go to Absolute Comedy to check a show out, also is hilarious. Yeah. Um, I can't remember any of the comedians' names, so I'm not going to shout them out. It's okay. <laughs> but uh, try the quesadillas. Did they did they call you out? No. It wasn't one of those? No, I was in the back. Okay. We were in the dark in the back. Nice. Yeah. Safe, the safe spot. <laughs> we were in the safe spot. Did they call out any audience? People? Whole front row guy. Yeah. 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 The guy I referenced a few episodes back, James Rourke. Yeah. We got to go see him live, do a stand-up. He's hilarious. He did a skit, uh, I saw it on Instagram, uh, where he called out a person in the crowd. Yeah. And they worked at Uber. And he's like, do you work at Uber as in you drive or you like work in Uber head offices? And she's like, oh, head office. He's like, oh, how little do you pay your Uber drivers? Like it was a dig into their, that whole gig. And I'm like, oh, this guy, we have to see him. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. James Rourke. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. I, d- I really messed up the delivery on that one. <laughs> <laughs> it's much funnier when he says it. I just kind of said it as a story, but I thought it was like, ah, oh, it's appropriate because I hate Uber. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, I didn't really eat out much. Was that your eating piece? Is that That's my eating piece. piece? Yeah. Try the quesadillas at Absolute Comedy. Okay. Well, this is a high family wise dynamic for myself. And I'm about to get into Janelle S. Yeah. Friend of the show, sister of myself. Um, she randomly DM me and she's like, Hey, shout out Gino Rana's really, really nice restaurant. That's the name of the place. Okay. Now you might not know the name of it, but if you've ever been in Queen West, you've seen it. It's got a massive nostril. I have seen that it, nostril. It, it's a Toronto thing. Like, you know, it, yeah. if you're in the East end, you're like, Oh, what is that place? We went there for her birthday a few months back, and, but her specific shout out is the crepes with Parmigiano topped with a homemade broth. Crepes? Yeah. Like a dessert? No, it's it's a pasta dish, but they use like the, a crepe. Oh, I don't know. I'm just trying to be a good brother here. <laughs> <laughs> this is Janela shout out. I didn't eat there, so I can't really big it up. I can't really sell it. Okay, got gotcha, you, got gotcha. um, you. You can go to their Instagram. They have a nice picture of it. I thought that was kind of good. But she did take me to a place called Gucci. Gucci. Yeah, it sounds like sushi. I was going to say, it sounds like Gucci. Also sounds like Gucci. Yeah. Didn't make that connection. <laughs> Thank you for that. Um, the, you, so Bathurst and uh, Dundas, right by the hospital there. She yeah. works at the hospital. They have these um, shipping containers with little food stands in them. And Gucci was one of them. Worth it. Oh, okay. Fried chicken, Japanese style fried oh, chicken nice. yeah. on a purple rice. Okay. I don't know. That's the thing. Yeah. I've never had purple rice before, but I had it. It was good. Okay. Yeah. 15 bucks. You get a little like box, a little takeout box. Yeah. And I thought it wasn't going to be enough. It was perfect amount. Yeah, really. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You can overdo it with, it, especially with the fried stuff. Oh yeah, you, it's very easy to overdo it. Hello, acid reflux. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go man. Uh, shall we get into news you can use? Yes, we shall. Please do your thing, and I'll do mine. Okay. I'll start with my. I'm gonna start with my news because I, I don't have an article. On wait, this one. wait, no, 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 no. Oh, sh- come on, Joey. Episode three. We talked about it just last episode. We did. <laughs> and I'm and I'm now blanking on who's who. <laughs> you are the voice of news you can use. I am the sound. Okay, okay. And okay. Every time we do the sound, you're like, oh yeah, that's right. That's, that's exactly sound. how it goes down every time. Yeah. Right. So. <laughs> For those first time listeners, <laughs> this segment of the show is called News You Can You. Huh? Yeah, that's okay. it. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, you, you, you drop yours. What's your uh So I don't have a I don't have an article I pulled. Okay. But I wanted to clarify something. Oh, I'm getting called out. This is <laughs> drop it. This is news you can use. The conversation we had in last episode was about this place called or potentially called Longboat Hall. Correct. Or Great Hall. Correct. And it was like a real debate for a minute. There. It was. And it really made me second guess if I was seeing things or if I was going crazy. <laughs> Fair. And I take full blame for that because I was adamant that it is called the Great Hall. However. However. So this is it. It is it is the Great Hall, but the Longboat Hall is a venue within Great Hall. And it's got a separate entrance on Dover Court. Hence the confusion. I'll take it as a 50% win. Bingo bongo. I'm going to give you 100%. Okay. It's your birthday month. <laughs> I messed that up and I was so adamant that I knew what I was talking about and uh, you deserve this one. So Joey, I'm going to make you a coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go cheers and do it. <laughs> <laughs> I got an espresso coming for you. This smells like it's probably burning. <laughs> but I had a friend here this week. He's like, oh, you could crank it up. You could crank it to fly. Like, just go for it, man. Just, just do it. So we're going to see what happens with this coffee we're making, yeah. um, which is also your cue to tune into us on now on Spotify automatically when you watch us, it's videos. We've added tra- chapters to make it a little bit easier to follow along what yeah. the heck we're talking about <laughs> in the ramblings. Um, but we're making our weekly espresso. Yeah. So tune in to see that. A lot happened in the news this week um, from bed bugs to rats. From be- Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We are uh, Orkin Canada ranked the top 25 cities with rodents. And guess who won? Tirana. We did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful Toronto. That doesn't, that doesn't surprise me. Have you seen rats in the city? My yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen them. Yeah, down by Union Station, there's there's big boys down there. 
Yeah. So uh, I live at Young and Egg, yeah. and there's a lot of subway construction. Okay. Yeah, I've seen them. Okay. Yeah. All right. All yeah. right. Um, yeah, I don't doubt that's that at all. I just found it funny that we both we have a bed bug and now a rat problem. <laughs> <laughs> so, welcome to Toronto. Yeah. Um, um, technically, and I'm going to say this because I'm not an economist, we're in a recession. Yeah, a technical recession. Yeah. So if you want to be cheap, you can be like, nah, it's a recession. I'm not doing this. I'm not spending this <laughs> recession. <laughs> that's, a, that's, your, that's your banner. You're going to use it. At every... Oh, my wife's heard that quite a few times this week. <laughs> yeah, it's a recession. <laughs> we are not doing what you want today. <laughs> no, that's not true. We get along well. Uh, but technically we're in recession. Recession is two quarters of a pullback of um, financial growth. And we've technically experienced that. Yeah. I mean, it's been hard as heck. I don't care what you call it a recession or not. <laughs> it's been tough out there with grocery prices and everything else going on. But um I brought this up because that kind of means that the next steps is potentially a rate drop. Ooh, big words. I've had three, two, I've had two mortgage brokers email me this week saying, we're done. Hmm. Rate drop is coming next. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. yeah. I'm not going to call names in case they're flat out wrong, <laughs> but yeah. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. That's a big claim. Yeah. So we'll see what um, happens. It wouldn't, it doesn't surprise me that. I mean, we're gonna, we'll dig into this a little bit. It doesn't surprise me that they're, uh, you know, that we're near the peak of what's happening. A hundred percent. I think like the, the pain's felt. <laughs> yeah. Prices have come down. Like everything they've wanted has happened. We're maybe not at that 2% target rate that they're aiming for, but we're damn for sure feeling the pressure. Yeah. A hundred percent. Yeah. Um, and oh, did you see about that? It's not in the show notes. We're just going to freestyle this one. Did you see that ceiling that fell in a condo? Yes, <laughs> I did see that. It was in a gym. It was in a gym. Yeah, I did look into that, and it was uh, it's pretty crazy. That was like a, it was like a hefty fall. That wasn't like a, a little corner piece of it. Oh, the entire ceiling completely collapsed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, nobody was hurt. Thankfully, thankfully, no. Everyone was everyone who was in the gym was out of the way when that happened. Yeah, but the entire wall that was lined was just like poof. yeah. So I guess gyms are bad for your health. Is that a fair claim? <laughs> I'll take it right now. Right? <laughs> I hurt my back in the last time I was there. So we're <laughs> no, it was wild. Uh, there's like a lot of, I th I'm sure more is going to come out with this. The latest I heard potentially from the developer was that that room actually wasn't complete yet and people shouldn't have been in there. Mm. But like, I don't know if I believe that. No, it, it, yeah, it does make me, you know, it does make somebody think about what else, you know, is gonna, if, yeah, what other ceiling is going to fall. Yeah. Yeah. Or worse. Or worse. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy. Uh, we'll see what happens, but uh, definitely going to have some ripple effects in the uh, conversation about condos all day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Um, new listings. We've got uh, we've got two listings coming up at Rodeo Drive right. Right, in Beverly Hills in the shops of Don Mills. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Doing really condo developers call, like Treviso. Pull that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah like yeah. Treviso. I went to Treviso in Italy. Oh, you did? Eh? I did. I yeah. had to. I was like, I got to see what this place is. It's nothing like... Oh, this is after the fact? Yeah. I yeah. bought the unit at Dufferin Lawrence called Treviso and then I went to Treviso and I was like, mm, Not quite. Kind of false advertising. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's, it's a very... Uh, there's a lot of waterways. It's not like Venice, but there's a lot of water that runs through it. Okay. And I mean, technically they do have one fountain at Treviso, so... <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, that's the, that's the thing of it is that it's got the water streaming. Yeah. Through. I swear one day before I'm 40, I'm going to take a canoe through that. <laughs> I found it at Treviso. I, I want to do when I live there. Now that I don't look out, <laughs> it's going to happen. Um, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> that was a long winded story. Uh, Rodeo drive, uh, shops at mills. We have a unit up there right now for 2450. It's a one bed with parking and locker. And we've got another unit. Once we lease this one out of a similar size coming as well. This one might be gone. We put it up on, I think Tuesday hit the market. And by Thursday, agent called full, list offer um full year up front like a lot of pluses to it we're still waiting on some of the paperwork but um yeah that one might be gone but if you're looking we've got another one coming up beautiful yeah cool um and also they're opening an italy there at the shops oh, are they Mills. yeah man italy's are popping up everywhere it's gonna be the third location wow yeah, yeah. The, the main one at young and bluer is still i think like the big one with all the meat and potatoes but we went to the soft launch of the italy at sherway gardens last yeah, week right yeah 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 it was good yeah yeah Big, big space. Yeah. They're moving, man. They're yeah. making moves. Forza Italia. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's just what you say in these type of situations. Um, transition time. Transition time. Uh, you're the sound. I'm the voice. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Just, I'll make a show note of that. So, you know, <laughs> just like <laughs> who's who. <laughs> All right. You ready? Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> boys and girls, children of all ages, <laughs> it is trans, trans, trans. 
Trans, transition time. That was a sweet <laughs> one, man. We're so in sync. Um, we are going to be looking at the October numbers in this episode. We are, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, tomato, 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 tomato. September, September. <laughs> How's that one? I. <laughs> That's fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. There's rolls right off the tongue. <laughs> yeah. September, September. I say that because nothing has changed. <laughs> the numbers were almost exactly the same between the two months. It just ran flat. Like, yeah. Pretty flat. much. Yeah yeah, yeah. 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 This is, this is uncharted territory. We're used to like highs and lows, not like sideways. Just straight. Yeah. Straight sideways. That's yeah, exactly what it is. Nothing really happened. So should we wrap it up there? Thanks for tuning sounds, in. Sounds <laughs> good. Changed. Thanks guys. No, 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 no. We did our work this week. We'll get into it. Yeah. Um, Sorry, you look like you have something, but no, no, so. I'm, 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 yeah, just ready for just that. catching your breath. Yeah, yeah, all right, let's start with the big picture. What happened in the city? Yeah, in the month of October, we had a whopping four, <laughs> one, two, three, four <laughs> more sales in October <laughs> than we did in September. I was like, are my numbers right? <laughs> yeah, four more sales, four more sales. What the heck? That's as flat as you possibly can be without <sighs> being a perfectly round number. That's flatter than a veal palm. Oh, ah, no, I'm not going to get into that. <laughs> Are we doing a rap career too? Eh? Well, no. <laughs> we'll see how November's numbers go before I drop my first rap album. <laughs> I think uh, coffee's not ready yet. Um, four more sales in September, in October versus September. Yeah, we're almost sitting at. Oh, this is your note. You can say it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, we're we're. What you're talking about? Average prices yeah we're back to february kind of we're back to february the place. february numbers in terms of sales yeah. which is wild for, vo- for volume yeah, yeah yeah, i got you got you yeah which is wildly odd because um these are supposed to be the busy months this is the last kick of the year and generally things really pick up and it's not happening rate holds you did your job oh, i mean God. rate rate hikes you did your job rate anything rate related <laughs> you've done your job please <laughs> retire <laughs> um i mean look there was a purpose for it the market was way out of whack with how high prices were going yeah. um and it, you know what this is a good reset for a lot of people i think uh people are going to be far more cautious with their spending i hope i hope this <laughs> teaches lessons to some people yeah um just like you know be really careful with how much you take on debt wise yeah. because uh you end up in a situation like this um average prices yeah average prices so you know, it's still not cheap uh one million one hundred and twenty five thousand is the average price of a property in toronto up a few thousand bucks from the 120,000 so 5k more than the 60 6500 6500 6, more uh, and a clean 6500 more uh i mean no i just put round numbers it's not an exact clean 65 is it not it's like 6534 okay yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 sorry about that i'll be more specific so <laughs> <laughs> so things run off the, the tongue a little bit easier okay that makes a little more sense yeah um prices are up 32,000 compared to the same time last year yep so that's like a 3.35%. Um, We're increase. still ahead. Yeah. I'll take a 3% ahead. Yeah, why not? <laughs> but then when you factor in everything else, I mean, technically, the amount you're paying, you're not up yeah. at all. Yeah. But Good point. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> uh, we saw a slight uptick in days on market Yeah, from 30 to 32, and that kind of goes in line with the relatively slowness we've been feeling, I guess. It's been upticking. Yeah, it's been. It's just been progressively upticking. Since June. Since June. Yeah. yeah. The one the one June day. The one June day <laughs> the one June, was sub-20 at 19, 19 and now it's 32. Yeah. Yep. But that's important because one of the most common questions I get when I take a listing is, how long is this going to take? I'm like, wait, you don't like me? I'm with you for life. <laughs> <laughs> we got 40 years together. What do you mean, how long is this going to take? <laughs> like, no, how long are you going to take to sell my house? <laughs> oh, my apologies. <laughs> uh you know, a, f- a year ago, I would very confidently say within a week, you're gone. Then it was like kind of two weeks. So we hit the three week mark. And now it's like expect at least a month, Yeah, at least a month. I think 32 is an average, but from what I'm seeing, it's, it's, it's over average on a lot of things. And there's still some, you know, the perfect homes still sell really quickly, but on average, yeah, you're, it's a long haul. Yeah. Yeah. You're in for the, you're in for the wait. Yep. Um, <clears throat> new listings. Yeah. New listings declined. Uh, 16,258 mm-hmm. to 14,397 mm. to be precise. Yeah, I had that conversation. With, thank you for your precision on thank that, you. Dr. Yeah. Joey. Um, <laughs> I've had some clients who, you know, we've had a very slow kick at the can in September. Mm. And in October, like, let's just pull it off. It just doesn't make sense. So there was a lot of those uh, touchy-feelies, um, wanting to test the market and seeing where it goes, and then quickly realized now's not the time. Yeah, And that's why I think we've had uh, active listings 
come down, as well as the conversations realtors are have with clients. I'm listening to a lot of different other realtor podcasts, and they're all kind of saying the same thing, that they're advising their clients, now's not the time to achieve the number that you're looking for. Yeah. Um, I think those that are selling somewhat need to sell. Yeah. Either they're moving a move up or they got to cash out or whatever the case is, but um, not the time to really be trying to set a record. I think it makes sense. It makes sense. Like September was the push. A lot of the conversation before September hit was, I think we should wait for September because August is not doing so hot. Right. Um, we should wait and do the fall market push. Yeah. Um, and a lot of those people didn't sell. So they, they pull off. They pulled off. Yeah. yeah. Um, active listings. Did you talk about active listings or new no. listings? Uh, yeah. New listings. Okay. Yeah. Go for it. Uh, so active listings uh, are climbing. Yes. Yeah. This is the, the number that keeps rolling over, basically. Yeah. Uh, in fact, it rolled over quite a bit. Mm. Um, so the top of the year, active listings were at 9,200, basically 9,300. Okay. Uh, they now sit at 19,500. Yeah. So we've, we've gained another uh, 10,000, basically another 10,000 plus listings on, uh, on realtor.ca. That's insane. That's a pretty, uh, that's a pretty intense number. That's intense. Yeah. yeah. Not as intense as this delicious coffee I'm pouring. It smells so good right now. It just replicates Nana's house like (laughs) to a T. There you go, sir. Thank you. It's hot. Be careful. Not as hot as this market. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Yeah. All right. Well, let's get into sales. Let's take a little bit closer look at that. Um, Did you talk about the balance market? Uh, No. No, I didn't yet. You're going to get into your whole spiel with that. Yeah. 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 But I think on the big picture, when we look at the city as a whole... um, it is a much more balanced market. Negotiating under list is more the norm. There are still some over asked uh, sales and there are some people still pricing for bidding wars and getting that. Yeah. Uh, there's a house in the junction I saw for a million bucks and the, not junction, uh, junction, Ronsi junction, kind of right in between there. They ended up getting 1.4 and mm. it was a complete gut job, mm. like not inhabitable at all. Hmm. So people in the right area will still fight and pay and they'll still do it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. We are technically, I mean, speaking of this, it's, it's mentality. We're in a balanced market as well. Like we're very much psychology wise. We're, yeah. we're in a, in a balanced market, but we're even numbers. Um, we're, we're support more that. Ba- yeah. yeah. And the numbers support it. We're still, uh, so we were, we were officially a balanced market uh, with four months of inventory last month. This month we're 4.2. So we're climbing more and more deeper into that range. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, sales. So let's get into that a bit. We saw month over month increases uh, for detached semis and even condos. Because last month we said like condos were kind of the uh, the marks of all of the family where <laughs> they're trying to get rid of them, like my dad. I swear I'm fine. This does not bother me at all. I'm totally fine. <laughs> uh, towns were the only category to see a decline down nearly 8% month over month. Mm-hmm. I don't know why. I have no... I have no <laughs> like reasoning behind yeah, it. I yeah, I think it's just the, just the way the numbers kind of rolled out this this month. Yeah, yeah, it's the same. I'm, I was surprised to see the towns were the least. Yeah. yeah, and then year over year, all categories did see a decline. So compared to last year, we're not doing as good. But compared to September, sales, you know, technically are better. Um, higher rates. I mean, <laughs> they continue to be the villain of this market. They are, yeah. Um, but also like a good villain. They have a good heart. There's a meaning. There's meaning to it. To rate hikes. There's meaning to it. There's a reason they're doing this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I was trying to make it like all warm and. I tried to do the same thing. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's all well. It's all well meant. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a coffee. I think I we think need a little. I, I very much need. <laughs> I think we need now. our brains uh, <laughs> spiked with caffeine. Oh yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah. This is this is ground coffee. Janelle last brought me from Italy. Oh, I was gonna say we should start like bringing the bags and, and oh. showing what we're actually drinking. I thought you were gonna say we should go to Italy. Or we should go to Italy. I mean, that's what I'm here for. <laughs> can we get a tax right off to do live podcasting in Italy? We can figure it out. We can figure it out? Yeah. yeah our big brains will get there. <laughs> yeah. All right. I like that. Um, all right. So we saw some increases month over month, year over year, not so much. So let's maybe put that to rest, tuck it in, yep. and move on to prices. <laughs> Where there's no change to report. <laughs> so let's wrap it up there. Uh, no, literally, there was no changes really from the month prior. Um, Detached saw a less than half a percent. Yeah. Man, that's... We're pretty flat. That's flat as can be. Yeah. Flatter than... No, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what else you got? Flatter than... Flatter than, <laughs> flatter than Joey... Wait, hang on. Let me, let me think. Okay, okay, okay. Flatter than Tony B's Instagram delivery. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's okay, pretty flat I'll when he talks. It. Yeah, yeah, I'll take it. Very well desired. Does he say no? Very much desired. Very desirable. Very desirable. <laughs> Tony B, very desirable. Uh, well, yeah, these prices were not very desirable. They were pretty much relatively the same. Uh, detached semis and condos saw no real movement. Towns saw a very small jump at 2.5% month over month. Yeah. Um, I want to point out something interesting. Yes, please. Uh, so July was the last rate hike. Correct. 
uh, we saw a big drop when July hit. From so August was a big drop. Mm-hmm. Uh, sorry, yeah, yeah, August was a big drop. Yeah. And then from the consecutive months afterwards, we've actually, the mind you, it's been pretty damn flat. But mm-hmm. we actually have been seeing really small increases okay. month over month in prices. Yeah, in really prices. small. Yeah. Which, which, okay, if we're going to build on that, like when we do eventually get a rate drop, a quarter, half a percent, are things going to take off like wildfire? That's where my like little thing is pinging, you know, because I'm like, what it, we, it has been, it, it's been staying flat. Like it has been flat. Yeah. You know, but uh, small little increases, which means people still have, there's still desire for purchasing, even with these crazy rates. Um, but when you kind of rip off the band aid, is it going to like <laughs> flood in? Yeah. Yeah. We'll see. Time will tell. Yeah. Time will tell. Um, was that it for your interesting points? That was my main interesting point. Okay. I just wrote it in like 16 lines. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wow, Joey's got a lot to say here. Well, not really. You summed it up quite good. Um, year over year, detached houses were the biggest winners. They were up 6.8%. Semis are sweet semis. <laughs> up 4.8%. But the biggest opportunity, and I'm screaming it from the mountains, I'm shouting it from the valleys, condos. Yeah. It is a great time to get a condo. Yeah. There, which you'll see in the next thing we talk about, but there, there's the most inventory, the yeah. the most bargaining power. Yeah. Um. And uh, yeah, they're just they're just there's a lot to choose from right now. There is so much inventory to choose from. You can get choice pickings in terms of views. You could really negotiate the terms to your benefit. You can get a great price on them. And when things reround, you know, if you're looking at a five year horizon, this is a wonderful window to be kind of really digging in deep about that. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah, we, um, condos are, when I was looking at the numbers again, I had to like double check it to make sure I wasn't missing something here, but they're effectively back to the pricing we saw in August Mm. of 2021. What was Joey doing in August of 2021? (laughs) August, 2021. I think I was just getting my real estate license. license. Yeah. Yeah. Cutting your teeth in this game. Yeah, exactly. Working out. Yeah. We do like pushups, like Rocky. Yeah. (laughs) That's how I learned. Yeah. (laughs) Would, the book was on the floor and that's why push-ups i love it man i love it um i don't know what i was doing i was 2021 i was probably like still worried about covid because <laughs> it was like the heat of it still yeah yeah well if i bought a condo then i'd be back if i want to buy a condo now it'd be the same pricing as then so all that time in between has effectively or technically been erased yeah. of course we're talking very broad strokes it doesn't mean your condo lost its value over two years but no on average that's where we're at. Yeah. They also weren't cra- as crazy volatile as some of the other ones with the upswings. Yeah. Uh, they did. Uh, they weren't as big a drop as well. To get fair. Back to that price. Yeah. Fair. They're more stable. So, you know, that's where the other, the other benefit comes from. Okay. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. I like that. Uh, why don't you lead us down the journey of months of inventory? This is my favorite part of these updates. Yeah. So months of inventory. Yeah. Um, okay. I'll keep really explaining it for people that are, if any new listeners come through. Yeah. Uh, We're getting new listeners every week. Yeah. So yeah, we're growing. So I'll, uh, so I'll keep the ex- explanation going. Yeah. Uh, months of inventory. If basically the TREB system and and all listings were to stop tomorrow, um, it's how long it would take basically for that inventory to sell out. Mm-hmm. If we sell out in one to three months, it's a seller's market, meaning prices go up, inventory is low. And four to six months is a balanced market, which we're in now. And then six plus months, we're talking a straight buyer's market. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm going to do my awards. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so award number one. First, or, which you've labeled first place award. First place. No, no, no. <laughs> first place, uh, colon. Award for most inventory. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> it's sorry. got a title. <laughs> sorry, yeah. That would be like the little caption at the bottom of the trophy? Yeah, exactly. Okay, yeah. got it. Uh, award for most inventory goes, goes to... to do you want, drum roll? Drum roll, please. <laughs> condos. Congratulations, condos. Condos, congrats. We mm. were just talking about you. Yeah. So are you the first place loser? First place, Yeah. Right. That's why I wrote from award for most inventory. Oh, because last a couple times I've mentioned this, I go, it's the best or the worst. It really depends. Yeah, <laughs> depends which if you're a buyer or seller. Exactly. Got it. Yeah. So, uh, so I just said this is the most inventory, meaning buyers you have the most power in this situation. Got it. And in previous episodes, you would say the other ones were like not as good. But that sounds right. But you've you've renamed it. Yeah, I flipped fl- this one. Okay. Yeah. Cool. For the for the uh, for the buyer side. Okay. I respect yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. Um, considering we're in a buyer's more of a, buy, a balance to buyer's market, I'm going to give to uh, going to give these information for the uh, for the buyers. Cool. Uh, and then award number two. Yeah, that's what I was referencing. The, oh, got you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, runner up. Yeah, which is the <laughs> correct terminology. Which is the thank you, JP. Yeah. Thank you, JP. Thank you, JP, for <laughs> helping us. <laughs> for helping us find that. Yeah. Uh, and I guess you've read it, but uh, yeah. one more drum roll. 
for number oh, two. Oh, sorry. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, do you want like a hi hat or a number two? Number two. Number two. Number two is detached. Woo! Congrats. You've got less of a build-up feel, but I do like it. Yeah, yeah. I just kind of wanted to set the tone, like bring us down a bit, you know. <laughs> That's it. We've been up here too long. Yeah. Uh, detach for the uh, second most months of inventory. Okay. Uh, with four months of inventory. So it'll take four months to sell out all the inventory we have. Of detached. Got it. Yeah. So, uh, and I'm going to give number three. Number three is, and then we don't need to do a big, big sh- shebang for this you one. sure? <sighs> okay, let's do it. I'm thinking of that, you know that one guy who plays like seven instruments at a time? Yeah. He's got like a kick drum. <laughs> Nothing sounds good. We just like do so much. I want to do that. Okay, do it. <laughs> That's the number three. That's what you get. Yeah. <laughs> Congrats. <laughs> number three is Towns. Okay. Town Homes took number three at 3.5 months of inventory. Uh, and I'm going to give the, this is the special mention award. Okay. Um, award for tightest inventory. Do you want me to play my, it's a caduzzi? Yeah. Okay. Do you know what it's a caduzzi what's a is? What's that? Beep. <laughs> is that what they're called? I don't know. That's what I call them. It's a caduzzi. It's a caduzzi. Beep. <laughs> you know the sound grooves in the hall. Yeah. Yeah. Beep. <laughs> it's a caduzzi, man. <laughs> okay. It's a caduzzi. It's a caduzzi. The score goes to <laughs> semis. Congratulations, semis. Semis taking the, uh, they're still the tightest inventory. They've held that position for God knows how long. Sexy semis. Sexy semis. I'm telling you, man, that is the greatest designed um, housing stock. Uh, do you know what's funny about semis is that they're, they were the only one that didn't increase in inventory. Right. Every, every segment increased in inventory, semis went down. Yeah, there's value in that. And well, there's not a lot built, but <laughs> I mean, by design, they are there are less than there's detached. less of them. Yeah, yeah but uh, no, I love them, man. Yeah, I love them. I'm telling you, one of these days we're gonna get it tatted up. Yeah, semis, semis all day. Yep. Uh, last point I was just gonna I wrote down to to make is that the condos see the biggest jump month over month. What do you mean by that? Uh, in inventory. Oh, so, so they went from five months of inventory to 5.4 months of inventory. Got it. So they actually took a that's a pretty big leap month over month. Yeah, which is why I feel that like if you are a um, condo buyer like this is the proof that you need right now you can definitely negotiate a really good thing we're nearing six months of inventory for condos yeah that's a lot of listings out there take half a year to sell everything that's on the market yeah that's that's a that's a lot actually we're we're, this is the closest we've been to a buyer's market in like like an actual full-fledged buyer's market in ages yeah yeah i kind of like got started in 20 2007 2008 ish and we had the recession of the u.s great u.s recession at the time and i remember um there was a lot of panic in condo land. This is feeling very similar to that as mm-hmm. it was that. And, you know, every day is a new story coming out about condos, the foreclosure. Uh, is it foreclosure? Uh, young in lure. What's the crate? Uh, the receivership. receivership. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not foreclosure. Receivership. Um, the <laughs> the ceiling fall on the other condo. Like, it's just been <laughs> a bad rap for condos this year. Yeah. But they continue to be the most affordable option if you're looking to get in as an investor, the cheapest way to do it. Yeah. Um, and like, again, you don't need to wait three, four years for pre-con with all this inventory out there to get a really good deal on something. That's right. Yeah. Cool. Um, beauty. And that's what, that's the uh, month's of inventory wrap up. Yeah. I like that. I think we uh, nailed it. Yeah. I would say yeah. A, plus, <laughs> a, yeah. a plus in my humble opinion. <laughs> um, cool, man. Uh, one little thing I want to touch upon. We've got something really interesting coming uh, in the coming weeks, hopefully within a month's time. But we're going to be selling a really unique, cool project. Okay. I don't want to get too deep into it, but it's going to... Yeah, I'm comfortable saying this. One of the most affordable projects in downtown Toronto, in the Bluer and Dufferin area. Yeah. Um, very unique place. There's a whole story behind it, which we'll get into another episode. We might do a whole episode on it because it's, it's quite cool. But um, stay... Yeah, reach out to us if you want any details on that one because I could... I could low key DM you some some info on it, but I can't publicly get too deep into the. I'm, I'm surprised you're mentioning it now, but I like it. Yeah, I'm feeling I'm feeling edgy. I'm yeah. Feeling edgy. Yeah. It's your birthday week. Uh, I might have a new family. <laughs> um, we're gonna have Parma pasta. Yeah, Palma pasta. Palma. Sorry, I call it Parma. Parma pasta. <laughs> we're gonna get Parmas from Palma. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And um, yeah, that's uh, that's what I got. That's it. Cool. All right. Wrap it up there. Let's wrap it up. All right. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening to the Toronto Living's Real Estate Podcast. You can find more information on how we work over at torontolivingswithans.com. Be sure to sign up for our newsletter to get price reports from over 150 different neighborhoods in the city each and every month. 
If you got any value, please like, subscribe, and share with your friends. And if you made it this far, thanks for listening. <laughs>